Hi Nancy, I just want to give you a little tutorial here on how you get this login. You get it in here with a short code. And so I'm going to go ahead and click login right here so you can see how it works. Now I'll just go ahead and log in. I uh, designed your functions file to have this. So if we go to all pages right here, and of course this is your home page. And if you scroll down here, you'll see that I put this little um, short code in here. It's called log, L-O-G-G. -G. And I'll send this in the email with you. So, But that's all you have to put anytime you want login to show up. And then after they're, if they're already logged in, this is what they'll see. You are logged in. And so we, I put that in there for, you know, for that. So anyway, and you could use this. You can use this anywhere. You can use it in a sidebar or in a footer or, or wherever. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and, and that way I could go on and show you the other thing that I installed for you. If you go over here to widgets, because we're talking about the sidebar now, and you only want certain things to show up on certain pages when you're using the sidebar. So. But remember that you're going to have to have the sidebar enabled on those pages. And what we'll do is we'll pick on the About Us page, okay? And we'll have a sidebar over here. So let's go ahead and, and click Edit Page. And we're going to take a template and set it as the default template so we get a sidebar in there. And I'll click View Page. Okay, so now we have these widgets over here right now, but let's say that you wanted something different. Maybe, maybe you don't want these showing up on the About Us page, but you want something different showing up there, maybe like the login. So what we would do is we would click our sidebar widget, and we see that we have this image widget, Welcome. If we scroll down here, and we see here, uh, Show show only for logged out users or logged in users we could have we have that as an option for instance if uh, sh if you only want to show it for logged in users you would click that but let's say that we only wanted to show this uh, on the home page so what we do is we would click home page that's this one here so um, and we want to click show when checked. We only want to show it on the home page and we're going to take it off the about us page. So I'm going to click save here. So now that we're on the about us page, when I refresh, this should disappear. So let me refresh it and you see that that no longer is there. So let's do this again, the newsletter. Let's say that we wanted this off the about us page. So let me uh, shrink this down here and take the newsletter and let's scroll down here to our little widget and so uh, sh uh, hide when checked so let's go down to the about us page and we'll tick this box and we'll click save go to the about us page and let's refresh and we see that that is now gone okay so now let's say that we wanted to put the login over here. Okay. So let me close this up and let me drag this text box over here. And let's go ahead and paste in our short code that I had earlier. And so we will scroll down here to the, uh, we'll we'll, first we'll click show unchecked. And let's go ahead and scroll down to the About Us page. Click that. And maybe we'll give it a title. Log in. We'll give that a title just to make it easy. We'll click Save. We'll go to the About Us page. I'll refresh it again. And you can see here, Log in. You are logged in, just like before, just to have that uh, that on there. So this is, how you, this is how you work this little widget. It'll probably take some getting used to, but uh, you know, I'm sure that you know you'll, you'll be able to catch on to this. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one and put these ones back the way they were. So <laughs> there's there's a couple different ways for you to have things appear or disappear on different pages. So th this image widget. Let's go over this in detail. So this first choice is hide when checked or show unchecked. 
okay? Now everything above here has to do with this image thing, so we're not worried about that. We only, we're only talking about show hide wedges. So if you have hide when checked or show when checked, that's the big deal there, okay? So if you have hide when checked, and then you click front page, blog page, this, that, and the other, and anywhere where you have your sidebar, it's going to hide on these pages. But if you had show when checked, it's only going to show on those pages, but it's not going to show them on the other pages. So that I just wanted to clarify that and make sure. And, and if you have nothing checked, then it's just going to add, you know, whatever's in your sidebar default-wise. So if you wanted a certain image just to show on the About Us page, what you would do is you would go through go through all these widgets here and have them only show on the pages that you want them to show on. Or hide, like if you didn't want to go through and, and hide everyone, it, you would have this one, show on check. So if you only wanted this to show on the home page, for example, you would click show on check and then scroll down here and click on your home page and then click save. And then that's the only page that this particular image will show. Okay, that's how that works. So if you, if you needed uh, you know a, f a further tutorial on how to to operate this, but basically if you could get this down, hide when checked or show when checked, it makes sense. So um, that's that's the way this thing's functioning and and doing. If you need to come in and and do a one-on-one -on -one tutorial or whatever, I'll be happy to do so. Uh, okay, thanks. Bye.